Did you hear that Joaquin Phoenix is in talks to play the Joker in a brand new standalone movie? Blah, blah, blah. All of that chit chat's gonna get you hurt. Oh my god. That Fox has dropped a new trailer for the upcoming Deadpool 2? Shut up, you little asshole. What about the Game of Thrones showrunners creating a brand new Star Wars trilogy? No? We've got you covered. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the most buzzworthy news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 3. New Deadpool 2 Trailer The fourth wall may as well not exist when it comes to Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool, because the sequel's brand new trailer keeps on breaking it. Wait, no, stop! What? in the actual ass. Fox dropped the trailer to Deadpool 2 earlier this week, where the anti-hero continuously speaks to his audience and also takes a few shots at the rival studio in DC by making fun of Justice League, particularly the infamous Henry Cavill mustache fiasco. Dale, why, why, why are the visual effects not done? It's a metal arm. It's not like we're trying to remove a mustache. Deadpool continues to poke fun at almost everything as the trailer goes on, from pointing out Cable's unfinished CGI to referencing Buzz and Woody's introduction in Toy Story. Reach for the sky! <gasps> oh no, Sheriff Deadpool. However, the most important part of the trailer was the introduction of Cable, who makes mincemeat of a number of puny foes. The movie, which stars Reynolds, Josh Brolin, and Zazie Beetz to name a few, is scheduled to premiere May 18th. Your time's up, you dumb f Number 2. Game of Thrones showrunners to create new Star Wars trilogy. The Seven Kingdoms may seem like a giant realm, but it's only a fraction of the size of a galaxy far, far away. Well, I have to start somewhere. Game of Thrones showrunners David Benioff and D.B. Weiss are trading in Valyrian swords for lightsabers, as the two are set to create a brand new Star Wars trilogy. Traitor! Earlier this week, StarWars.com released a statement that the duo's movies will exist separately from the existing Star Wars series, as well as the new Ryan Johnson trilogy. <laughs> Their command of complex characters, depth of story, and richness of mythology will break new ground and boldly push Star Wars in a way I find incredibly exciting, said Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy. In a statement, Benioff and Weiss mentioned how they are, quote, so excited to get started as soon as the final season of Game of Thrones is complete. So there's no punishment for treason and no reward for loyalty. In addition to the new solo film and the Johnson trilogy, there are also rumors of an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie, so the Star Wars universe may continue to grow yet. Luke, you're going to find that many of the truths we cling to depend greatly on our own point of view. Before we get to our final entry, here are a couple new releases. Number 1. Joaquin Phoenix and talks to play the Joker in new standalone movie. Are you sweet talking me? Step aside, Jared Leto. Looks like there's a new clown prince of crime in town. Let's go home. Joaquin Phoenix is in discussion with Warner Brothers to take on the iconic DC villain, the Joker, in Todd Phillips' standalone movie. The director made it clear that while an official announcement hasn't actually taken place, the two did meet before the new year to discuss it, that he is the production's number one choice, and that Phoenix has agreed to the role. <laughs> Suicide Squad's Jared Leto will remain as the Joker, but strictly as part of the DC Universe. This Phoenix standalone film will be completely separate from that. Ah, if you weren't so crazy, I'd think you were insane. The film already has a ton of star power behind it, with the legendary Martin Scorsese producing, so the addition of Phoenix would be a home run for DC. Good day. This isn't the first superhero film Phoenix has been linked to, as he was almost cast in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and Marvel's Doctor Strange. I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. Enjoy our entries? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.